Welcome back, traders. Today, on the 8th of March 2024, we are diving into the whirlwind of activity in the cotton market. Ice Cotton Futures had an electrifying session, ending limit up on Thursday. Let's unpack what drove this surge and what lies ahead. First up, the softer dollar. The dollar index experienced its steepest weekly drop of the year, fueling optimism among investors. A weakened dollar translates to more attractive prices for natural fibers like cotton, especially for buyers dealing in other currencies. Turning our attention to the numbers, ICE cotton contracts for July soared to 97.78 cents, marking a remarkable 379 point surge. OCT wasn't far behind, settling at 88.29 cents, adding an impressive 256 points. And let's not forget March 2025, which ended on a high note, strengthening by 103 points at 84.67 cents. But what about US export sales? Well, the numbers speak for themselves. FAS reported a significant uptick, with 52,000 running bales of cotton sold for export in the week ending February 29th. While this is a notable improvement from the previous week, it still falls short of the four-week average. Nonetheless, the week's exports totaled 331,000 running bales, indicating a healthy demand abroad. However, it's not all smooth sailing. High cotton prices, hovering above 90 cents, are putting pressure on the market. This makes it challenging for mills to make purchases, leading to stifled demand. As a result, we anticipate a slight adjustment in supply and demand dynamics in the near term, with prices likely to remain volatile but within the range of 90 to 96 cents. Now, let's talk weather. The latest 7-day QPF from NOAA predicts heavy rainfall for Central Al Ga, with surrounding southeast states also expecting showers. However, the forecast clears up as we move towards Central Texas. Shifting gears internationally, the Australian Agriculture Ministry raised its estimate for the country's 2023-24 cotton production to 1 million tonnes, up from the previous forecast of 925,000 tonnes. This adjustment could have implications for global supply and demand dynamics. Taking a glance at market indices, the Kotluk A index dipped by 30 points to 101.05 cents per pound on March 5. Meanwhile, the seam saw 4,664 bales sold on March 4, with an average gross price of 88.63 cents per pound. Additionally, the AWP experienced a decline of 59 points to 76.88 cents per pound. As for I certified stocks, they stood at 1,636 bales as of March 4. Finally, let's dissect the CFTC's weekly commitment of traders report. Managed money funds increased their long positions in cotton, bolstering their net long by 7,900 contracts to 94,030. On the flip side, commercial cotton hedgers added 3,400 new short hedgers while dropping 1,600 longs, resulting in a net short of 134,264 contracts as of February 27. And there you have it. A comprehensive overview of the latest developments in the cotton market. Remember, stay informed, stay sharp, and trade wisely. Until next time, happy trading!